Leeds have sacked their eighth manager in four years. Thomas Christensen only came to the club last June on a two-year deal, but only lasted eight months. They haven't won a game in the last seven matches. Graham from Leeds United Supporters Trust doesn't think a decision like this should be made this early. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that, that they've made the decision at eight months. I think it's, you know, it, we need to build something longer term. But they've obviously run out of, I think, patience or faith and they've, they've made the decision. Fans are divided over whether Christiansen could have done a better job. Leeds fan Joe Bedford doesn't think that Christiansen is completely to blame and believes that the faults lie elsewhere. I don't think the fact that we've had so many injuries and so many sendings off for a start, I mean, the discipline in the team is ridiculous. Now, is that down to the players or is that down to him not being able to control them? But at the end of the day, once they're out on the pitch, it's down to them to behave. There's talk over who will be the next to take Christiansen's place. The bookies' top three are the current Barnsley coach Paul Heckingbottom, Jap Stam and Paul Clement. These fans outside Elland Road have told us who they'd like to see as the new head coach. Gordon Strachan, someone who knows the club quite well, someone like that, just to get us stability until the rest of the, till the end of the season, um, just to make sure we're keeping above, you know, around the top six area. Steve McLaren has been mentioned. He's, he's good enough for championship. And I'd get behind him, but it's not my man. Um, Mick McCarthy or Gordon Strachan. I think we need a, a manager who we know, so we can get instantly behind him and see where he's come from. I like Marco Silva, that's been linked. I think he's my, my top, top on list at the moment, yeah, definitely. For Global's Newsroom, I'm Georgia Banks.